guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and this is a With a Touch of Luxury where an ordinary girl shares her opinions and views on designer fashion, luxury, but maybe in a more practical and sensible way. Today I'm gonna talk about probably the best SLG that Louis Vuitton has ever created. Are you ready? Here you go. This is the Louis Vuitton business card holder in black empreinte leather with a gold hardware, which is basically the button over here. The reason why I think that this is the best SLG from Louis Vuitton, especially when we are talking about mini wallets, which let's face it, we wear small bags, we need <laughs> small wallets as well. Um, the price point, the functionality, everything, this is perfect. And I don't understand why more people on the Lux community, on YouTube, Instagram, don't talk about this as much as the other pieces maybe. So what we're gonna discuss in this video is what this is, what is the business card holder, uh, what does it fit, how does it compare to the Rosalie coin purse, which is also, I would say, one of the best SLGs that Louis Vuitton has. Like, I don't know if it's a tie between these, but let's see. So basically a comparison between the Empreinte leather business card holder and the Rosalie coin purse. Before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you would consider subscribing to my channel, giving this a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and basically coming back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. It would be so great to see you here again. Okay, shall we start with this? We can admire the beautiful leather that it has. It's just... I think it is gorgeous. This is my first and only empreinte leather piece so far, so I don't have really much to compare, um, but I think the leather feels so soft, but not like too, um, too soft. So I do feel that the scratches or anything won't be that visible on this one. There is a button closure in here and here you can see Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain and um, this is basically what it looks like inside so there is one um, kind of card slot over here and then one bigger pocket and that is it so that is the functionalities of this, no back pockets, no zippers, no nothing. So that's just kind of the overall um, review on what it kind of looks like. If we would kind of then have a look quickly on the Rosalie coin purse, which I do have in the Damier Azure canvas with, is this Rose Ballerine? I'm not entirely sure, but this, I don't know, First of all, just a comment. Both of these, I would say, are perfect for being a kind of card wallet, but neither of these is really called a card functioning wallet. So this should be for business cards. Hmm. This is coin purse. Is there something I'm missing? Because I think these are like, especially like card wallets or card cases or something like that. But anywho, maybe the reason that they don't advertise these as credit card holders is why the price point is so good. But that's just one, one thing that I'm really wondering. But if we then kind of compare it to the Rosalie coin purse, 
It also has a snap closure and it kind of looks like it would have just like one big open pocket, but there is a bit more organization in the Rosalie coin purse. So it begins with a zipper compartment here, um, which I would presume is for coins since this is a coin purse. Then there is this bigger section, but it actually has like two separate kind of card slots in this. So it helps with the organization. And then there is also a back, sorry, a back pocket over there. So more organization in this, definitely. If we then look at the sizes, so it's like the Rosalie coin purse is a tad taller, but I would say like pretty much the same size. The Rosalie coin purse is also a bit longer, but if you look at the thickness of this, let's see, I would say it's pretty much the same. And so I guess it's an down for preference. Do you prefer leather or canvas? Because the price points are pretty similar. With the current Louis Vuitton prices, this is cheaper. Can you imagine? Leather mini wallet is cheaper than a canvas mini wallet. Hey ho, <laughs> good for them. This is kind of the size comparison. Now, let's see what fits into this. So I have used this only as a card wallet. So in this stack, I have 14 cards. They are just regular, that's like library cards and bonus cards, etc. And this is 14. And they fit into the big compartment. It probably would fit more cards, but I don't really find it practical or even reasonable to try to fit more cards because who would carry like 20 cards with them? I might be wrong and there might be so many people who do that, but I just didn't really find that sensible because if you would have that many cards, you probably would have a bigger wallet. Maybe, I don't know. But that was all kind of fit into the big compartment. So the, the kind of front slip is totally unused. If we would want to use it as a proper wallet, I have some money, cash, so maybe that could be a good divider to put the money in there. That is kind of, um, as you can see, it will not, well, it will not close because it's just folded one way. So most likely, if you want to, let's just take one bill. We don't need all three. If you would want to have some cash with you, this kind of folding it one way, it does fit. So maybe my first try was not really that successful. So you can fit bills one, one time uh, to, if you want to separate them from the cards. I have some coins as well, and I'm, I feel like a really bad, kind of review maker because I don't have cash. Like I only found <laughs> these three coins from our apartment <laughs> for when I tried to look for this and I don't usually even have bills. So this is a really, really special occasion that I <laughs> seem to have like actual money and not just cards. But I don't, I would not put coins in here. Like obviously you could just put them in there um, and then use this as a wallet, like it is, it is what it is. So you could totally use this as a wallet, like a proper mini wallet, not just a card wallet, but an actual wallet. I would maybe recommend a coin purse because how, how are you gonna kind of, it's just don't, don't put coins in there. So what we have established that this fits bills and 14 cards would fit more cards but i just i don't have any so if you need more than 14 cards this will fit them i don't know how many more but it, it will definitely 
comparison to the Rosalie. So obviously we are gonna put the change into the zipper compartment because that's just easy and I think that's where it fits. Not sure if you are comfortable in having coins in a light pink interior, that's up to you. When I used, use this as a mini wallet, I do keep my coins in here, so it's just me. I buy these to be worn, not to be stupid, but to wear them, so I put coins in there. Then, this kind of, it has a big open, but the, the bottom is not that big. So let's try first with all of them in the central pocket. So this is what it looks like. And it, it's bad because the, the fabric that goes inside, it will block them. So, I mean, it closes, it looks ugly and to be fair, I, I would not put all the cards in the middle compartment, especially when there is organization. So you could kind of choose maybe the cards that you use the most and put them separately into these. So I'll just show us an example. So if these would be the cards that you use the most, I would put them there because then it's always super easy to to get them then maybe you have some cards that you have in the middle compartment as well so those that you you need every day but maybe you don't they are not the ones that you use the most frequent so once again we come to the phase where these fabrics they kind of create a block so I would not put that many cards into the Rosalie coin purse as I could happily put in this one. And the reason, the difference is the central pocket. So this one does not have the kind of sides turning inwards. And obviously that takes up space. So I would say taking the cards out of here, that's, let's say, three cards and three cards. Yeah, now it is pretty, no stretching. Let's try four and four. Mm, now it starts to stretch a bit. So ideally, my opinion, uh, that would be it. So all to total, now there is eight cards. So two in the slots and then three and three on the kind of uh, middle section. Obviously, there is the back pocket. Maybe you would want to have some money in there. The same bill is folded once. It doesn't seem to. Is this the same mistake I made with the first one? No it actually doesn't go any further. So you would need to fold it more than once. Let's see from the center. The center is better. So there you would need to fold it more. So now, as you can see, it doesn't look too full. There is eight cards, coins and one bill. So maybe my conclusion is here that if you are more of a card person like you actually want to carry a lot of cards with you but you you are not willing to kind of take a big wallet this is better because this fits more and the reason as showcased is the sides and how they fold so that's just one thing to consider, this has more organization in it. So zipper, card slots, and um, it is bigger in size. So one would maybe think that this would fit more cards or kind of fit more in that way. But this actually fits more cards. Now, if we would want to use this 
on another purpose. So uh, let's say I have my AirPods here. This is the older model since I'm not really <laughs> uh, the one who goes on the um, technology wave. I, I use them until they broke and then I decide what to do next. But if I would want to use this as a kind of catch-all, you could put your AirPod case in this. I don't know why you would do it though, um, especially just for AirPods, but it fits. I do also have um, a lip balm if you would actually want to use this as kind of a catch-all thing. So now it is there with the AirPods and it is upright. It won't close. So let's see. AirPods out and lip balm in. So this could be used as a catch-all for very, very small things if you wouldn't want to use this as a wallet. So I want to conclude my review on this with words that I am a mini wallet person. I have had bigger wallets maybe five years ago last. Uh, I've sold them. I have not bought a new one in I don't know, seven to eight years, because I have realized after I used my, I think it was like Tory Burch or Ted Baker long wallet, um, I used it until it basically looked beaten up and um, decided to buy a new wallet at that time. I did buy a smaller wallet and I've not really purchased a bigger wallet since. So for me, I don't carry that much stuff. I usually have like maximum six to eight cards with me every day because I don't see the need to carry with me all the different type of bonus cards and um, I don't know, these type of cards that I don't really need. I do need my ID, uh, my bank slash credit card, um, our or me and my husband's joint um, bank card. Then I have two um, kind of bonus cards for different stores and a bus ticket or kind of public transportation card and then a card that helps me with lunches that my employer provides. And that's it. So I don't carry more cards with me every day. I don't usually even carry cash but that this I did show it only with one but all of these would fit in here with the card amount that I use every day and how I fill this up is that I have in this pocket I have the two cards that I use the most every day and then the rest of the cards I have in here and I would say the only kind of um, a bit annoying part of this is that compared to the Rosalie coin purse especially because there is more organization in this so whenever I need a specific card from this pocket, uh, if it's not the first one or the last one of the group of cards, I will kind of need to take all of the bunch out and then choose whatever the card is that I needed. So that's the only annoying thing about this that I did not have when I used the Rosalie coin purse because I had the organization. So it was so much easier because um, with this one, I'll just quickly share, uh, I had my two most used cards in these slots. I had the bonus cards or what have you, uh, just a couple of them in the bigger section. So only two cards, it's easy to choose. And then I had my uh, ID, public transportation card and lunch card in here. So it was like more organization, easier to find the cards that I'm looking for or faster, let's put it like that. It is not difficult to find them here. You just need to make an extra effort. But other than that, like that's the only thing. And that's a pretty small thing, I would say. Obviously, if you put the 14 cards in here and you don't have any type of order with them, it might be a bit more annoying <laughs> to try to locate the card that you need. But this is like, I would say, these two are the best Louis Vuitton SLGs for the purpose of small wallet that there is because the price point of these two is just phenomenal. Like it's so great compared to the other mini wallets or wallets in general that Louis Vuitton has. And I would say that 
this in particular, it is a masterpiece. The price point for Louis Vuitton is amazing. It's excellent. I highly recommend. Although I haven't had this for that long, but I've used it every day since I got it. And to be fair, I did not find that many videos on YouTube about this piece. And I, I don't know if, does people kind of, do people feel that it's a bit strange that it says business card holder and, and just kind of then think that, okay, well, um, I don't have business cards or I don't need a holder or whatever, because I, I felt that way for many years when I saw this and I've been looking at it like, hmm, interesting. Uh, and then it hit me. <laughs> That business card is probably around the same size as a kind of normal credit card or ID card or, or whatever. So this is just like, it's, it's just perfect. And uh, if you're not into leather, if you like the canvas pieces, then for that I would say the Rosalie coin purse. But that's kind of uh, a review on this one and a comparison with the Rosalie. So maybe it helps you to get a bit perspective on how it kind of operates. Thank you for watching. That was it. What do you think? Have you ever thought of the Louis Vuitton business card holder? Is it something that you feel that this is totally stupid of using it as a card wallet or, or what is your favorite Louis Vuitton SLG? Thanks for watching. If you liked it, you know, please, consider subscribing, come back and uh, join the discussions and uh, share the dreams that we have on this channel. I post videos every Monday and Thursday and hope to see you here back again. Bye!